Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel Technical Oven Garage. Here I'll let you know about the interesting projects related to hardware as well as the software. Today I'll start with PCB designing. So without wasting time, let's get started. Yeah, I'm starting with the first video with a topic named PCB. What are the different names PCB is known for? That is PCB, full form is printed circuit board. It is also known by printed wiring board. It is also known by printed wiring cards. These all are the possible names the industry uses to call the PCB. Like first question comes into a person's mind or a designer's mind why PCB? Why should we do? Why should a person do PCB designing? So what is the answer of that question? So now today I'll tell you about what is the answer of that question. So it's a history like in back in 1960s telephone crossbar switches used wrap wiring techniques that uses a wrapping small gauge like shown in the photo around the post. These are the post and the wiring is wrapped around the small cages. So wiring is done in such a way that no solder as shown is being used to connect the wire around the post. Then after 1960s and 1970s wire wrapping technique become more popular and popular more and more popular to make possible connections. The main drawback of this wire wrap technique is to make correct and precise pattern as well as it is very expensive and again time consuming technique. Later in 1980s SMT that is surface mount technology came into account which makes the process faster cheaper in the manufacturing of the PCB. So this is the answer of the question why PCB designing? These are the post around which the wire gauge is rounding up which is called as the wire wrapping technique. The next question arises is what is the PCB? What does the word PCB means? So here's the answer. It is mechanically supports and electrically connects the electrical or electronic component using conductive tracks, parts and other features etched from one or more sheet layers of copper laminated onto or between sheet layers of a non-conducting substrate depending upon what number of layers in the PCB are you using or are you designing. So it is also known for the components are generally soldered onto the PCB to both electrically connect and mechanically fasten them. Some more details about what is the PCB. It can have the multiple copper layers starting with the two possible layers. The two layered board has the copper on both the sides that is on the top as well as on the bottom layer of the PCB. Afterwards, it is known for the multi-layered PCB that is multi-layered multi boards sandwich additional copper layers between layers of insulating material. Conductors on the different layers are connected with vias. Later on in this video, I'll tell you about what are vias. Then comes the through hole technology, which is used for the through hole component, which leads sometimes also effectively functions as the vias. Again, I'll show you when I will discuss about vias. After the two layer PCB, the next step is the four layer PCB. There is no three layer PCB. Often two layers are dedicated as power supply and ground planes and the other two are used for the signal wiring between the components like I will discuss later in this video. Now I will discuss more about vias and the ground planes. The full form of the via is vertical interconnect axis. It is an electrical connection between the layers in the physical electronic circuit that go through the plane of one or more adjacent layers as shown in the figure below. Vias are the copper plated holes that function as the electrical tunnels through the insulating substrate. 
The three different things are shown in this figure below. That is the three hole technology, which conducts all the layers it is passing through. The blind wire, which is making the conductive between the layer one and the layer two. The bolded wire is making the conductive path between the layer two and the layer three. Now we'll discuss about ground planes. These are the most important thing in the PCB, in the designing of the PCB. Ground planes are the electrically conductive surface, usually connected to the electrical ground. Ground plane is a large area of the copper foil on the board, which is connected to the power supply ground terminal and serves as a return path for the current from the different components on the board. Ground planes are made as large as possible, covering the most area of the PCB, which is not being occupied by the traces or the pads. In the multi-layer PCBs, like more than two layers, it is often a separate layer covering the entire board. Like in previous to previous slide, we have discussed about the four-layer PCB, out of which two layers are dedicated to the power supply and two layers are dedicated to the uh, two layers are dedicated to the power supply and the ground planes and other two are dedicated to the signal wiring between the components then the last point is the large area of the copper also conducts the large return currents from many components on the pcb without significant voltage drops as the every point on the pcb that ensures that the ground connections all the, all the components are at the same reference potential so that there is no voltage different between the any two points on the same plane on the pcb to avoid or to prevent the leakage current so that's it for the, this video i hope you guys enjoyed or get the more information yeah new information about the PCB, about the vias, about the ground planes, why should we use PCB designing, why, why one should do the PCB designing. So that's it for now. Stay tuned and stay safe. And in the next upcoming video, in the second part of the series, we will be telling about the many, many different CAD tools used to design the PCB designing and the installation part and various different different things will which will be coming in the upcoming video so like share and subscribe to the channel technical avant-garde thank you